this is Sven of Grow Point Dumagheri, and we will continue with our follow-up videos for our message last Sunday entitled, Jesus Said, Do Not Worry. And we're back in Matthew chapter 6, and we mentioned that in this chapter, Jesus clearly said that to perform righteous deeds in order to be admired by the public, in order to get people's praise, is not acceptable in His kingdom. He warns us not to do our deeds of righteousness or our righteous deeds in order to be praised by the people. That's a wrong motivation. In fact, Jesus calls it hypocritical living. But in this chapter as well, let me make it clear, Jesus did not just teach about what he was against. He also taught about what he was for. Let me give you a, an example. Going back to Matthew chapter 6, verse 1, and I will be reading from the New Living Translation. He said, Take care. Don't do your deeds publicly to be admired because then you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. And when you go to verse 4, he said, Give your gifts in secret, talking about almsgiving or giving to the needy, which is a righteous deed. He said, do it in secret, and your Father, who knows all secrets, will reward you. And then on prayer, he said, on verse 6, When you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father secretly. And then, your Father, who knows all secrets, will reward you. And here's another one. In verse 17, all the way to verse 18, he says, but when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face, then no one will suspect you are fasting, except your father who knows what you do in secret. And listen to this. This is the desire of the Lord for his people. He said, and your father who knows all secrets will reward you. In other words, Jesus warns us from performing publicly Deeds of righteousness in order to get the praise of men so that we will not get our rewards here because his desire is so so we can get the reward from the Father. In other words, Jesus wants what's best for us and he wants what brings glory to God. And he continues on with our passage here in Matthew chapter 6 in verse 19. He says, don't store up treasures here on earth where they can be eaten by moth and get rusty and where thieves break in and steal. Instead, he said in verse 20, store your treasures in heaven where there will never become moth eaten or rusty and where they will be saved from thieves. In other words, Jesus here, as much as he was against, you know, public performance for people's praise is also against piling up earthly possessions in the present because he wants us to choose the best and that is to store up or pile up our treasures in heaven and in the coming verses he says you need to choose whether you want light or darkness whether you will serve god who is eternal or you will serve money which is temporal you see, Jesus said, do not. Okay? Do not choose the earthly over the heavenly. Do not choose darkness over light. Do not choose money over God. Choose what is eternal. Choose who is eternal, and that is God, of course. Daily live for God as your master. And then Jesus said, if you do that, I mean, if you, if you set your heart to store up treasures in heaven and you set your eyes on that and then you give and dedicate yourself as God's servant, as God's slave with undivided loyalty or with dedicated service to him. If you do that, if you make that choice, then he went on to say in verse 25, then you don't need to worry. Again, Jesus says, do not worry about your daily life. Do not worry about 
what you need in daily life. In other words, even though Jesus is not against, of course, he's not against being responsible, you know, he's not against thinking about daily provisions. What he's against really is to be preoccupied with personal daily provision as if the Lord you chose to serve, your Creator, and your Heavenly Father does not know that you have all of these needs, and worse, as if God, your Creator, and your Father doesn't care. Of course God cares. And you see, when we make that choice to live for God instead of living for money, to choose, when we choose to store up treasures for ourselves in heaven and invest this life for the next life, our Master will take care of us. Our Creator will take care of us. Our Father will take care of us. And Jesus used, you know, these arguments, and we mentioned it last Sunday. I'm not going to go back into, you know, details into that, but just to um, remind us of the reasoning. You know, Jesus says, you know, just look at the birds of the air. Look at the flowers of the field. You know, your, your Father, your Creator takes care of them. You know, they don't worry about their daily needs. And then he said, do not act like the, the unbelievers who doesn't have a relationship with God. You have a father in heaven who loves you, you know, who, who keeps his eye on you. He, he will never leave you or forsake you. He will provide for you. So don't worry. Don't worry. And if you can trust God for today, you can certainly trust God for tomorrow. I mean, his love never changed. It doesn't change overnight. You know, he, his, his care and concern for, for you will remain the same. So brothers and sisters, remember what Jesus said. He said, do not pile up earthly possessions here on earth in the present and do not worry. And I will say this, you know, when you look at God as your master, and when you look to God as your creator, and when you relate to him as your dear heavenly father, there is no reason to worry. And you will not be attracted to store up treasures for yourself on this earth. Bye.